I'm a beautiful young woman. I have a terrible problem that I do not know how to solve. I'm a devastatingly handsome and incredibly rich bachelor. Will you help me solve my problem? No, I will make your problem worse. My very existence somehow makes your problem worse. I find you irresistibly attractive, but I wish I had never met you. You have made my problem worse. Did I mention that I'm the heir to a dukedom? I don't think you mentioned that. If you did, I didn't hear you. I'm concentrating on my terrible terrible problem. Well, I'm the heir to a dukedom. Would you like to be a duchess? No. I'm the only woman on planet Earth who has no interest whatsoever in being a duchess. That's good, because I intend to stay a bachelor forever. That makes no sense. Especially if you are heir to a dukedom. Won't you need heirs? Let's talk about something else. I have noticed that you are attractive. Really? Yes. In fact, I feel overwhelmingly attracted to you. On several levels. Really? Yes. I never dreamed that this could happen to me. Really? Yes. My attraction to you is so overwhelming that it makes me feel completely out of control. I do not recognize myself. Therefore, I'm angry. I see that you are angry. You behave like a lunatic whenever we are together. You boss me around and interfere with my life. I'm beginning to hate you. I perceive many things about you that I could improve. You should be grateful for my interference. You're a real horse's ass. And you are making my problem worse. Circumstances have thrown us together and are forcing us to spend a lot of time together. Yes. I'm really angry about that. So am I. I wish I didn't find you so attractive. That goes double for me. I can't stop thinking about you. You are driving me mad. You are ruining my life. You are forcing me to rethink my entire existence. Ditto. You are a dangerous woman. You are an infuriating man. Yet sometimes, we seem to work quite well together. Sometimes you exhibit flashes of humanity. My friends think we are perfect for each other. My friends think the same thing. But every time I start to like you a little, you do something outrageous. I'm going to kiss you now. Don't you dare. If this is a hot and sexy romance novel, I'm going to do a great deal more than kiss you. If this is a hot and sexy romance novel, I am going to enjoy that. But any physical experience we have, no matter how earth-shatteringly pleasant, will somehow make my problem worse. What problem? The terrible problem that I do not know how to solve. The problem that I have been attempting to tackle in various ways throughout this book. Oh. Well, that's too bad, because I can no longer keep my passions in check. Neither can I let's throw caution to the winds. You kissed me, and now everything is different. I thought we just made crazy passionate love. If this is a spicy romance novel, we did make crazy passionate love. In fact, depending on how spicy this romance novel is, we may have had a series of increasingly intense physical encounters during this book. But if this is a teenage romance, or a sweet romance, you just kissed me. Was it good? It was amazing. Will we live happily ever after now? No. This new twist in our relationship has made my problem even more difficult to solve. Is that because I'm an arsonist and you are a firefighter? Possibly. Is it because I'm a new fact of fake antiquities and you are a museum curator? Possibly. Is it because you just discovered that I'm the man who ruined your family's fortunes, thus destroying all hope of happiness for your parents and driving your father into an early grave? Possibly. Is it because you are on the trail of a killer and all the evidence is pointing to me? Possibly. Or is it outside forces that are conspiring to tear us apart, like in Romeo and Juliet? Possibly. Whatever the reason, it is clear to me that we can never, never be together in any meaningful way. But you love me. Yes, I am afraid I do. Do I love you? Maybe. It doesn't matter. Our relationship is doomed, and my terrible problem is farther than ever from a solution. When we reach chapter 15, will I be arrested? Yes. Either you will be arrested, or you will inherit your family's estate and become a duke. Whatever happens, it will divide us forever. It all seems quite hopeless. Yes. The difficulties have grown more and more overwhelming. 
Are we past the three-quarter point of the book yet? Yes, I think we are. Then something truly awful is happening, and we must say goodbye forever. How sad. Goodbye, my love. I wish things could have been different. So do I farewell. This must be the end of the book. It certainly seems that way to us, but actually there are still a couple of chapters to go. I am experiencing a dark night of the soul. I have never been so miserable in my life. All is lost. Yes. I am very sad. I have an idea. You do? Well, let me put it this way. One of us has an idea. What is it? It is a new direction. A solution to your problem has appeared. That's remarkable. I can hardly believe it. Well, believe it. My problem is solved. And the most remarkable thing is, the solution to my problem has cleared the way for us to be together. I'm delighted. Will you marry me? I thought you told me that you intended to remain a bachelor. Our experiences together have changed my mind. I have discovered that I love you and I cannot live without you. Will you marry me? Yes. I will marry you. I thought you told me that you had no interest in being a duchess. Our experiences together have changed my mind. I have discovered that I love you and I cannot live without you. So marrying you will make me happy, even if I have to be a duchess. I'm so glad. Will we live happily ever after? Yes.